Hello friends, good morning. We are going to bring you along today. We are staying home this Saturday before we get ready for three back-to-back -back camping trips. And so we are going to be doing some food prep and just work around the house. So come along and enjoy our busy Saturday with us.
Okay, so Mark just pulled down these cabinets that were falling and then took out all these loose horns. These big ones in the back are actually mine. I'll show them to you, they're really cool. Wait, this is not your big one, though. No, it's not. I've gotten two. Yeah. Believe me, I worked hard for both of them. All right, I went and changed because what I was wearing was not working in the chicken coop attire. And now we're gonna get it clean. We're gonna power wash it and get it ready for these baby chicks. We have not had chicks for two years, so the chicken coop had kind of become just a storage shed. And now we need to clean out all the skis and all the other stuff out of there and then give it a really good cleaning so that the chickens can go out there in a couple of weeks and it'll be all nice and clean for them. Time for the weekly bee check. You gotta check to make sure the there's a little bee right there. Their um, queen's okay. She's laying eggs. They're not getting ready to swarm. Make sure that I don't need to add any boxes or take boxes away. And just checking to make sure everything's okay. And so that's what I'll be doing. So here you can see, this is one of my frames with these, and it has um, like all this stuff right here. This is uh, baby bees, that's brood. You can see these bigger ones, that's a drone cell. These are all just worker bees. And then this right here, this is all honey. It's a little bit different. And then there's kind of some little bits of pollen. This right here looks like they're starting to build a queen cell, so I'm gonna take get rid of that. And I'm just looking to make sure, see all of this is honey. They're bringing in honey from the dandelions and other stuff. And I'm looking to see if I can see the queen. I haven't found her yet. Oh yeah, on this side here, see if I can, this is almost entirely all brood. Um, let's see if I can get this. <clears throat> right up in here, you can see the top there's, let's see. Yeah, the different stages of larva. So down on the bottom, that's capped and the other stuff's not capped. So here is another uh, frame, and you can see this is all new honey. So these guys are doing just awesome. They're putting in a ton of honey, and they're bringing it in from the neighborhood and the bees. <clears throat> see if I can get this to see. Also, you can probably see down in there, there is some um, like orange stuff and yellow. 
That's pollen. The different colors of pollen come from different uh, flowers and the bees will aggregate it and stuff it down in those cells and they use that as a nutrient, like a, a multivitamin type thing to uh, feed themselves. So these guys have almost filled up this top box. So I'll be adding another box so that they can uh, um, bring in some more honey. So this is a really good example. You can see down in here that most of that's just orange and yellow. So this is totally full of pollen. And um, <clears throat> this is on the bottom of the hive. So they kind of end on the outside. Usually in the center they'll put, and you can see on the edges, they have honey on the edge here and then pollen. And usually the center of the hive, they'll, that's where the brood is, the, the uh, larva. <clears throat> on the outside is where they stick pollen and honey. And the hottest part of the hive is in the center. So that's where they stick all of the, uh, the, the eggs that are going to be hatched. So overall, really good in uh, this hive. I was able to see the queen in the bottom box and uh, she's laying a whole bunch of eggs. That's what you want this time of year. You want that queen just to be pumping out eggs and uh, building up the colony because you'll need about 50 to 60,000 bees by the time you uh, get to July or August so you can have a good honey harvest. So right now it's kind of neutral. There's about an equal amount of brood and egg eggs as there are honey. And so later that's going to start changing over as we get more and more honey. So um, good things on this hive. So let's see if I can show you. Here's the queen on this one. She is a little blue dot. Let's see if you can see it. She's right here. I have a blue dot on her. And with they paint, you paint the queen at the beginning of the year so you can see the queen. So you see the queen right there. She's scurrying around. So I'm gonna go put her right back in. You do not want the queen to fly away. Yeah, I guess. So all of this stuff right here, this is wax that just I scraped off the top of the, the uh, frames. And so these um, bees, they're trying to fill up all the different holes full of wax and just making hive wherever. But I, I don't want it in certain spots because it'll just like fill up the hive. So I just kind of scrape it all off, make it into a wax ball and we save this in a bucket. And you can make some candles or other stuff at the end of the year. This is the, uh, the ball between the two for these two hives. So pretty good for today. They're really making a lot. It takes a lot of uh, sugar syrup for them to make the wax. It stimulates some kind of gland inside their body and they produce this wax. Um, so you know they're doing really well if they're building a lot of wax.
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave us a big thumbs up and comment below. We are so grateful that you are here for this Alaska life. If you want to see more Alaska adventures, food, and life, please subscribe to our channel and we will see you again soon.